Okay, so now it's time for games. Let's first turn off the LEDs. There we go. And we'll try Breakout. So this is code I found on the net. Uh, it worked for another kind of uh, board in this one, a slightly different driver, but I was able to port the driver primitives to this driver so that it would work. So let's uh, first try with a red rotary encoder. And there we go. Hard to play like this, but you get the idea. And then you can also play with a joystick. The joystick actually is more challenging because there's a huge um, ca calibration problem with it too. The center is not the same for everyone. There's a big dead center which I had to program in it. Uh, but you can actually move faster if you move the joystick a lot as opposed to just a tiny bit like this. See so a few few bugs in the game, but yeah, you get the idea. Okay, now we're keeping the best of for last, maybe, Tetris. So that's again another game I found. Uh, I did not actually write the logic, but I had to port the driver uh, primitives uh, so that this code would work and make it compatible with the hardware uh, that's on this board, which is of course not quite the same. So now it should be calibrated for most joysticks by just being uh, very conservative in how the joystick is being used. Uh, basically, I'm just converting left uh, to five levels of left and the same for right. And I'm ignoring everything else. There's a huge dead zone in the center so that it doesn't like move when your joystick is not being moved. And that hopefully will work for most boards. So there you go. That would be Tetris. And that was it for the demos. I hope you enjoyed them. A lot more can be done, but that's been literally, well, actually almost three months of work since I came back from the conference. Um, and a lot of that time was actually spent on the drivers uh, because there were none. <laughs> and there were some drivers that existed, but they didn't work uh, for this board. So I had to port them, find existing drivers and make them work and then deal with, the, deal with the IO expander, which is an issue because drivers don't know that the pins are not uh, available directly.